Hello everybody, Robert John Miller Garden Machinery. Um, bit of a different video today, we're just going to uh, go out and about and deliver to a customer their brand new Canicom. This has got the Honda engine in it, the GX690 I believe. Lovely smooth engine. You've seen, hopefully seen the videos of these, these things in action. I went out and did a demo of this chap the other week. He loved it, he ordered one. So we're going to go load it in the van now, go for a bit of a drive. Let's go for a ride. Right then. That's um, we're all good to go. So we should go for a nice drive for about an hour. So we'll check back in shortly. When I first came to this place, I cut there and I was like, sat there, just sent me somewhere completely <laughs> crazy. Swing blades, um, it's like it goes up across, back, and round, then just pop it off. Good. Perfect. All right, and cut to your heart's content. Perfect. Excellent stuff. All right. So we've uh, uh, down at the customer's place. Um, um, like a bit of a numpty, uh, I should have bought the flatbed and decided to bring the van instead. And we're taking her back a large Kubota and this nice bit of kit here. And we're having a bit of an issue getting in the van. So check back in a few minutes and see if we manage to figure it out. <laughs> As well. Just bolt it straight in a bit. Does that make it a bit? Just 
twos. That's a that's a chunk. Mm. Ready? That's it, one's on. There we go. Cool, that's it, that's it. Let's put him in. Let's ratchet that down. See? In gear. Right then, so we've delivered the new Canicom out to the customer. Um, their company name is Snow Business. They make snow for the film industry. So if you want to make a film and you want some snow, you know who to get in contact with or give us a call and we'll sort you out. Anyway, we've dropped it off. We've had a good laugh getting the Part X uh, equipment back in the van. Next time, Rob, need a bigger van. Uh, so I came out here a couple of, about 10 days ago, did a demo on the Canicom we've got in the shop. We came into all this here, as Natalie pans round. Um, so I think it's about an acre and a half roughly here. They like it long. They like wildlife here. There's deer and everything here. It's, it's a nice place. It's fair for the staff to hang out and have lunch, but they cut paths here regularly. So this is to keep on top of all the paths. And then a couple of times a year, they'll bash it all down, collect it all up and then let it grow up again. So um, as I say, this sort of grass here, if we have a walk over here, you can see, you know, I'm sort of six foot sort of territory. It's long stuff, so it cope with that, not a problem. And you've got your options of your sort of keeping it in the, in the deck, mulching it up. You can open the side baffles a little bit, so it sort of chucks it out the back a little bit, almost like a side discharge on an additional tractor. Or you can put the swing tip, uh, put the deck up and just literally chuck it out the side. So any type of material, it, it'll coat it fine. Again, a bit of common sense comes into matter. You can't charge at it at 100 miles per hour. So on the thick stuff like it here, is here, just slow it down a bit, put it in low range, um, and you're good to go. So they're over the moon. They um, leave time, I think it was about a week to get one in and delivered to them. So they're, they're happy as Larry. As I said before, the videos we've done, they are awesome bits of kit. Um, they look quite toyish, but actually it will attack anything within reason. It munches everything. A lot of that is down to being shaft driven rather than belt driven. So compared to a lot of the other competitors on the market, it's a good job. Easy to look after. So, um, so that's it really. So we're going to get back in the van and travel back an hour back to Chippenham. And no doubt these guys will um, be buying some more stuff off us soon, hopefully. So until next time, guys, we'll see you again soon. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.